Good morning and welcome to Jim Gets a Job for the Day. Now today I'm here to meet Lauren, who's a vet nurse and also a Lantra industry champion. Morning Jim. Morning Lauren, thanks for having us. Now I've been dying to ask you, because your practice serves the Blair Drum and Safari Park, so have you ever had to like castrate a hippo or give a giraffe a couple of paracetamol or something. Don't be silly Jim, look we've got a busy day ahead so I need you to put these on and join me in theatre. Oh theatre? I love the theatre. Not that sort of theatre, come on, let's go. So Lauren, can I ask you what made you want to become a vet nurse? When I was at school I really enjoyed sort of science subjects, um, I've always been interested in medicine and I've always loved caring for animals so all of those things combined made vet nursing the ideal career for me. And how, how did you, what process did you go through to get to here? Well, when I left school I went and did a um, degree at university and then I decided I'd really enjoyed my work experience at VETS when I was at school. Um, so I worked in a quite a small practice for a few years and then I moved to a bigger practice where they employed me and also put me through my vet nurse training as a block release student um, at college for three years. And is it the small animals you prefer? Or um, yeah, I really like working with cats. That's, um, if anybody has an angry cat through um, in the surgery, they come and get me. So I really like um, cats, patients, and dealing with them in particular. And it, it must be hugely re rewarding when you know you see somebody going home with their dog or their cat. Or... Yeah, that's one of the best bits of the job is being able to um, let that animal go back to its owner when it's much better and seeing them reunited. And what would you say anyone considering a, a career in the in the vet? Just to get as much work experience as possible, so that doesn't necessarily have to be in a vet practice, just with any animals in a cattery or kennels. Um, and then just trying to get into vet practice if you can, just to make sure that it's definitely the, the job for you. Jim, could you get me that metronidazole off the shelf? The me metroni metronidazole? Yeah, that's the right one, yeah. Okay, metronidazole, metronidazole, metronidazole. That's the metronidazole. Jim, that's a bottle of coke. Oh, right, okay. Don't worry about it, I'll get it myself. Ah, it's there, it's there all the time. <laughs> okay, well, you join me in the operating theatre here uh, at the practice. We've got Lauren and Ali, who is the, basically the head vet of the, the, the high heat gym. So we're doing a procedure today, Ali. What's, what are we doing? Hi, so we've already made an incision into the dog, as Aye. you can see here. Uh -huh. uh, and we've got the stomach here ready uh, with a wee hole in it now, Aye. so we're just going to reach on in and, and find, see what we find. Aye. Right, okay. These okay. lights, man, I'm sweating. Right. Like, all right, all right. Oh, that, that? oh, that's nice, thanks. Okay. Oh, that's good. That's lovely. Thank you. So, Jim, this dog's had an x ray and we think it's maybe swallowed a toy or some sort of foreign body, so we're now opening the dog up to see if we can find out what it's eaten. Did you maybe pass me that wee dish, like? Yeah, I was feeling a bit queasy myself. <laughs> there we go. Oh ah. my goodness, look at that. Ah. Looks a bit rude, but uh, it's one of these uh, things about honey in, isn't it? It's a dog's toy. Very good. What kind of dog is this? Uh, um, it's actually an IKEA dog. I don't know if you're familiar with that breed. An oh. IKEA dog? Oh, uh, yeah. What? Oh, right, okay. Yeah, I see. Yeah, they're quite rare. Well, Lauren, you brought me to the lab. Yep. So it sounds very exciting. So what, what are you going to have me doing here? So we're going to test this dog's urine sample, Jim. Okay. Um, so what I need you to do is take a little bit of the pipette um, and then drop it onto the urine test stick. Onto here? Yes, careful not to spill any. It's very messy. So do you, do you have to do a lot of lab work? Is that a fair part of the yeah, job? Yeah, it's a big part, yeah. So when we've taken all our blood samples or got our urine samples in, we come to the lab and run it for the vets. And why, like, why are we doing a urine sample here? What would, what um, would we be looking for? Well, this way? dog has been peeing a lot in the house, so there's a chance that it might have a urine infection. So we're having a wee look to see if there's any blood or protein in its urine. Have you ever had to tell anyone that their cat's too fat? Um, all the time, Jim, yeah. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So if you want to just dab off some of the excess urine, so just onto the paper towel, that's okay. it. And then if you get your little pot. Have you ever lost a chameleon? Uh, I don't think so, no. Take a minute See. to work, is it, is it? Yeah, so you're looking at the first one at 30 seconds. Right, so what? So down here, so if you hold this one and that's on the glucose. 
and that you one. Can just uh, this green one down here, and that's it. Right. And so. then you just work your way up for time. So oh, at I see. 40 yeah. seconds, you're looking at the ketones. You ever been bitten by a snake? Mm, no. Have you ever had snakes in here? Reptiles? No. Oh, I tell you, Lauren, I was needing that. But listen, I found today really interesting. Thanks so much for taking me under your wing. And I tell you what, that's not a bad cup of tea either. No problem, Jim. It was a pleasure, but I should point out those biscuits are for the dog. Oh. Actually, that makes a lot of sense now. But anyway, if you've been inspired by Lauren's story and would like to find out more about a possible career in vet nursing, then visit the Lantra website today. Cheers. Cheers. So they're not bad these.